Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. As you know, I've been a bookkeeper for a long time, over 20 years, and I have lots of clients that come up to me with all kinds of questions. One of our favorites and most popular ones that we like to cover is how to deal with cash in QuickBooks Online. Today we're going to talk about that once again. We talked to you about uh, cash transactions in the past, but we're going to go over again. All right, so here we go. Let's first of all start with let's start with QuickBooks Online. Uh, this is our sample company, Craig's Design and Landscaping. You might have seen that before. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do when we are going to deal with cash is to create a bank account for Petty Cash. Now a lot of you deal with cash and don't necessarily deposit the exact amount into your bank account, and that's what we're gonna talk about. So I have a client, for instance, that had a petty cash or used um, a cash, cash account, but it wasn't recording any of the expenses with the cash. So he was recording the income sometimes, sometimes he, he didn't, and he would not record any money that he paid with cash to, uh, to his employees or buy supply or whatever. So um, with that being said, <laughs> I would say don't do that <laughs> because you need to keep track of all your expenses for your tax deductions and you need to keep track of um, of all your income as well for the IRS <laughs> and for all, your own information as well. So one thing that I wanted to mention to you, one of the most important parts of having inaccurate books is not necessarily just because uh, you need to be ready for it. Uh, an audit if the IRS decides that you your company would be audited. No, the most important is actually to know exactly how much money you're making, how much money you're spending, and where you are. What are the things you need to do in order to grow your business? So that's the most important reason why you should keep your books up to date and uh, ready to go whenever needed. All right, so <laughs> enough of that on the left hand side in order to create a bank account um, a pet cash left hand side click on accounting and then chart of accounts we're going to open up the chart of accounts all the accounts in the books are here so it means any money in any money out um, any assets equity all your accounts are right here okay so we're going to create a cash account so the, see the plus uh the new green button on the top right hand side we're going to click there to create a new account it is going to be a bank account for petty cash we're going to it is cash at hand so it's right but i'm going to name it something besides cash at hand so a lot of people like to call it petty cash which is the same thing cash at hand petty cash same thing <laughs> okay so we're going to save that and this is where we're going to record all our cash transactions. Anytime a customer pays us with cash, anytime we pay somebody with cash, it's going to be recorded here. Okay, so customer uh, come to your shop or come to your restaurant, whatever place you're collecting that, that cash and gives you uh, cash for, for the purchase um, and then you're going to record that. So on the top left hand side, click on the plus new and we're going to do a sales receipt. The reason why we do a sales receipt is because a sales receipt, we, rec we use it when we already collected the money. The invoice we use it when we haven't collected the money and we send it to the client so that they can pay us. Okay, so sales receipt it is. Okay, we're going to call it the best customer. I have so many awesome customers. It's incredible. So there it is. We're going to create that best customer here because they obviously don't have. <laughs> so we're going to put the email here for best customer, whatever email. And um, we're going to deposit this into undeposited funds because there is a workflow flow for cat, uh, QuickBooks Online. And the way it works is that we're going to record a sales receipt or invoice record a payment or the sales receipt going into undeposited funds, then we record the deposit when we actually deposit the money, if it is like a check. 
if it is cash, uh, whatever it is. So we're going to send it to you on the positive side. So we're going to record here that, um, let's see, in this case, in this case, it's a landscaping business. <laughs> we're going to say gardening here. And we're going to say that we charge this customer $100. And, and he paid cash. Yay. There's no sales tax. Okay. I'm going to save and send or just save. Okay. All right. Okay. So we send it to on the deposit funds. Now the next step um, is to record that pay payment. Now, be be before we do that, or record, not record the payment, I'm sorry, record the deposit. But before we do that, let's record another payment so that I can demonstrate to you uh, how it works. Okay, so we're gonna do another sales receipt. Another customer stopped by. And I'm going to select a different kind of customer here. Okay, Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Okay, I, I like the name. <laughs> okay, it looks like Amy already has an invoice. Uh, let me see. I don't want anybody with the invoice. Full card. Okay, good. All right, doesn't have any open invoice. That's the one that I want um, a sales receipt. So let me just... I don't want to receive payment. I want a sales receipt. Okay. Full cars. Okay, good. So we're going to say hours. And we're going to charge $180. I'm going to save it. Send it to on the positive fund. Now, I... We'll go ahead and click on bank deposit, and I'm going to record that this money was sent to Patty Cash. I'm gonna select the transaction. Okay, so full cars, 180. That's not, you know, those are the two transactions that we recorded. So $280, and see that it says checking here. I want to change that to Patty Cash because it didn't touch the checking account for that amount. Okay, so it's going into Patty Cash. I put I select the date, Patty Cash, and the two two transactions that has to do with that, and I'm just gonna save and close. Okay. The moment I save and close, I'm gonna go to Patty Cash and see what happened. That money was recorded into Patty Cash. So it's right here. Oh, I'm gonna it's right here. The money that I received is right here. Okay, now let's suppose that I take this ca this cash and I went to the bank and I deposited uh, $200 out of this money, right? So how to record that? How do you record that? So we can record it as a transfer. The way you do, you're going to click on the plus new. We're going to do a transfer. Um, and we're going to say that we're transferring from Patty Cash into checking. And it's going to be $200. Okay, check the date. Make sure that this date is correct. And we're going to save and close. So I just recorded that I, I, I deposit $200. Now, I only have $80 on my Patty Cash account. Uh, let's suppose that, that I went ahead and I spent $30 to buy some supplies. So how do I record that? So we're gonna do a plus new. We're gonna do an expense. I'm gonna record the payee. Uh, let's see. Let's suppose that I okay. Uh Actually, I bought some mugs for my clients. There you go. I used that as advertising. And I paid $30 for that. And I paid not out of checking. I paid out of the petty cash. I actually pay cash. I used the cash out of that amount. So I recorded 
here that I'm actually paying with cash advertising and then we're gonna save here okay max out of here now I only have $50 on my patty cash and um, let's suppose that I do my inventory and I found out that I actually spend this money with personal items okay so how do I record that Claudia okay there's different ways to do it one way is just to record as a transfer to owner's equity. And then the, the way we do it, which is a very simple way to do it, is click on the plus mu. We, you can do a journal entry, which is kind of the same thing, but a transfer is easier. I'm just going to say that I'm taking money out of the paddy cash, and I use that on personal. Okay, there's no personal account on the sample account. How is that? <laughs> okay, we're going to add a new one. Okay. It is an equity account, by the way. And personal expense. All right, and I'm saying that it's $50. And we're going to save and close. And voila, now I have a zero, zero balance. And... Let's suppose that somebody else paid me. I record the payment once again. I can do a sales receipt um, and then record it into on the positive fund. Or you can record directly into the Patty Cash as well. So uh, the reason why we do the undeposited funds is to make sure that we uh, we have we do the same thing um, with the same workflow as a regular checking account. And there's some safety measure when we follow the work workflow. So, like I mentioned before, first we're going to record the sales receipt or the invoice, send it to undeposited funds, and then record it when we actually deposit into the bank account and then match it in, in banking. By the way, when I recorded that transfer into checking, I want to make sure that when I go to checking, I will find that specific transaction when I deposit it and I'm going to match it. Okay, see that <laughs> that transfer that I recorded here? I want to match it. So it's saying that it's rental, but that's not. Okay, so that's just money that I receive and I transfer from the Patty Cash account. I don't want to double record that because um, the accounts will be out of whack. I want to make sure that I match it. All right, so... I hope this is useful to you. I also have uh, another video on cash accounts when you have a third party app such as Square. So how do you record those? How do you record the difference? If you have questions on that, take a look at the link below. I will go ahead and put that link below if you wanna watch uh, this third party Square cash transaction. All right, well thank you so much for watching the video. I'm always so excited. Um, to have you all watching our videos and putting comments. So if you have any questions, if you want to, um, uh, if you want us to cover another subject next time, put a comment below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We like to bring videos like that on a constant basis to keep you up to date with what's going on and how to make your life easier by uh, teaching you easy methods on, on how to do your bookkeeping. If, you're, um, if you need some help with your books and um, you, you want a professional to do that, we're here to help you. Please contact us. We do have our information down, be down below. Uh, feel free to contact us, give us a call, or send us an email um, and set up an, a consultation, one-on-one -on -one consultation. That is very helpful. Um, but if you want somebody just to take over your books, we can help you as well. If you want somebody who just teach you how to do it, we can help you as well. No matter where you are, how you want to do your books, we can help you. Just contact us uh, and let us know what type of subject, you, subject you'd like us to cover next time. And thanks again for watching, and until next time, keep on smiling.